fact, in Zambia, most youth ministries are dying off. I have been to a Christian evangelical church, find them using a Jehovah Witness material. The reason being is that young people don't have access to good discipleship materials. If we don't gospelize the young people now, the rate at which young people get addicted to alcohol, to drugs, drop out from institutions of learning, who will lose a generation, who will lose a lot of people. Lead the Cause in South Africa was a life-changing time for me. I saw many young people coming together from different backgrounds, from different churches, and for the first time, I attended a meeting which was entirely to train young people to share the gospel. Gospel Advancing Ministry moves the youth leader from being the superstar, becoming a coach, and empowering young people to do the work. And one by one, they can be saved, preserving our generation. Zambia needs this. We are late. It's like we are in a ICU. It's life or death. Zambia is surrounded by nine countries, and I see it like a strategic center. We can have leaders coming to Zambia, getting trained, and going back to their countries to ignite a gospel advancing movement across the nation. I'm looking towards a time when Africa will begin to send missionaries and not just receiving missionaries. We are so grateful that God has used us to be in schools, in universities, pastor fellowships, meetings, a summit for leaders and an LTC uh, to see this work set ablaze. I can't wait to see how God will use Dare to Share to empower, to energize Zambia and Africa. Until every teen everywhere hears the gospel through a friend. <laughs>